even comes with a lot of great things like lots of good food and presents and huge sales and warm sweaters and hot drinks and lots of guilt-free chocolate eating and of course Lots of family time. On Christmas after dinner, my family had this white elephant gift exchange thing, Major, and my mom got this awesome hat. Check it out. Whoop! 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 Anyway, family time is a good thing, cause you know you only have one family. Unless you get yourself emancipated and adopted into a new family, you're kind of stuck with the one that you got. So it's a good thing to make the most of the family time that you do have during the holidays. But I've found that unfortunately winter break is one of the worst times to be surrounded by family and this is mostly because there are so many school related questions they can ask. It seems to me like winter break is strategically placed in the middle of the school year to give all those relatives time to ask all those burning academic questions that they have. It usually goes a little something like this. Hey Marissa. Hey Aunt Jessica. So how'd you do this semester? And you hear this question, but you know that she really means you got all A's, right? And you're left to sit there panicking about how you're gonna answer this question in a way that still makes you look good despite what your grades are while trying to make her go away at the same time. Another common question is, so do you have any homework over a break? Now this question is one of the worst because it will cause panic no matter what the actual answer is. Even if you're in college or you have teachers that are like really nice and didn't assign you work over break, you will still have a brief moment where you think, Oh god, homework. I always have so much of that. Why haven't I done any work? I've been on break for a week and I haven't even picked up a pencil. What am I doing with my life? I'm gonna have to not sleep for a week to get all of my work done. And then you realize, oh yeah, I don't actually have any homework and everything is fine. But that brief moment of panic that that question induces is still not very fun. On the other hand, if your teachers are anything like mine were in high school and you get asked this question, you will probably start hyperventilating and thinking, Oh god, I have to build a cantilever tower for physics out of toothpicks. I have a three-page paper to write contrasting the grapes of wrath and Huckleberry Finn, which means I actually have to read those books. I have ten chapters of European history notes to do, and I need to start studying for that chemistry test that we have two days after break. Marissa, are you okay? <laughs> possibly the worst and most frequently asked question. So how were finals? Like really? I'm glad you're interested in how I did, honestly, I'm really flattered. But I just spent the last however many weeks studying for those finals. I really don't want to think about them ever again. And especially for me, I got really sick in the middle of finals and I had to skip one of my exams. And I have to take it when I go back to school in January. Please don't ruin my Christmas by reminding me of that. Thank you. And if you have a rather large family, you know you're going to be asked the same set of questions about 15 to 20 times. So by the time Aunt Cassandra comes up to you at the end of the night, you're going to be able to answer her questions before she even opens her mouth. Hey, Marissa. My grades are fine, I don't have any homework, and I passed my finals. <clears throat> Good. Well, that answers all my questions. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. So yeah, the set of annoying, frustrating, and semi-panic-inducing questions is the thing that makes family time over the holidays somewhat less enjoyable for me. Let me know down there what your least favorite thing about holiday family time is. Maybe it's that pie that your grandmother makes every Christmas that's absolutely disgusting, but you're forced to eat because it's your grandmother. Or maybe it's your Uncle Billy who, even though he's told the story of himself shooting a bunny when he was 10 about a thousand times, still feels the need to tell it at every single family gathering. Like this video and subscribe to Marissa! See you guys soon. Bye! The first time we made these cookies, we made the mistake of leaving the pine needles on the branch and that just made the cookies come out more crumbly and just not generally as good as they should be. I wear glasses and I have a bun and I have a sweater. I am Aunt Jessica.